Well, if you are planning to fly this August, you do want to check your schedule carefully. Bluegrass Airport will be shutting down for 72 hours to complete a repaving project on the runway. The announcement got us wondering just how much will this cost and who's picking up the bill and why is the work necessary in the first place? Well, tonight, Evening Edition's Michael Burke is taking an in-depth look at those three days in August when all flights in and out of Lexington will be grounded. For three days in August, you won't be seeing any takeoffs or landings at Bluegrass Airport. And for those 72 hours, the terminal will be mostly empty. Our 7,000 foot runway can get you anywhere in the world, and so we need to make sure it's in perfect condition. So just as they did in 2006, it'll be resurfaced. The project is not optional. It's an FAA mandate that comes around every 12 to 15 years, and it is not cheap. It's a $16.2 million project, and that is 100% funded by the FAA. And the project will require a suspension of all commercial and private flights in and out of here from 6 p.m. on August 19th through 6 p.m. on the 22nd. And that'll come with a big hit to the airport, too. There's about a thirty dollars to $35,000 impact per day to the airport, but that doesn't include any of our on-site partners here, like the airlines or any of the folks that operate. We all operate separately. People like Uber driver Rick Bate. My biggest draw is out of here, yeah. The average about 100, 110 per day. Yeah. Rick says he'll hope to make up the difference using more downtown routes. Air and ground traffic controllers will likely work during this time, even helping to ensure the painted runway markings are done as needed. But so many others will have something else on their minds when thinking about this work and its timing. Of course, it's only natural for this repaving project to conjure up some horrible memories of flight 5191. That ill-fated flight taxied to an incorrect runway here at Bluegrass Airport exactly 15 years ago, immediately after the last repaving project. I was determined uh, the pilots had missed some markings and had unfortunately gotten on the wrong runway. We're super sensitive to that, knowing this is the 15-year anniversary. Amy noted that that runway no longer exists here, eliminated following the crash. This is the strip that remains, and it's due for a facelift. The runway is our most important piece of infrastructure here at an airport. In Lexington, Michael Burke for Evening Edition. Well, here's something you might find helpful if you've already booked a flight. Airlines will be able to help you reschedule. First, we're told the airport chose the middle of August because it's the least busy time of year for air travel in and out of Lexington. That's even with college students returning or heading out of state for school. But airport officials know that many of you may have already planned a trip during that time period, so they want you to know here's what will happen next. Some of the airlines at this point you'll start seeing in the next week where it's being removed from the airline booking system so that you can't actually book during that time. If you have already booked a trip, a lot of times the airline has already reached out to you at this point or they probably will be reaching out in the next week to reaccommodate you. If you want to act sooner, you certainly by all means can contact your airline directly right now to get that rebooked. Officials say all airport runway work will be completed in the 72-hour window that has been promised.